If you are a small channel on YouTube, then you need to stop doing this. Have you ever felt like you didn't know what you wanted to do for YouTube or your YouTube journey? Like you had an idea, you kept going, kept going, kept going, and then you realized that A, your video wasn't getting much traffic, or B, you just weren't no longer passionate about the things that you used to discuss on your YouTube channel, then this is the video for you. Everybody always wonders, what is a niche? What does niche mean? What does niches have to offer? And don't quote me because I am not a Google search engine, but what my interpretation used to be for a niche is that a niche is a group or category that you apply yourself to or try to fit within. I used to think that I had to have a niche for my channel to be successful. I went through trial and errors of trying to make different content until I came across this Facebook YouTube group. And I made a post on there because I felt completely lost in my journey. I didn't know where to go where to turn to and someone replied back and said that your niche is you just like in a business when you brand your business you're branding your business with yourself and at first I went straight over my head I was like what do you mean your niche is you that seems like an ingenuine answer but no really your niche is what you have to offer just replace the whole word niche with passion what is your passion what do you love to do what do you love to create what content do you love to film and everything that you do on your channel if you are the sole person for your channel, literally revolves around you, what you offer, your life. So it's not too far off to say that your niche is you. And how can you ever oversaturate yourself? Like niches that can become oversaturated. And sure, you may have passions that you share with other people, but you are yourself. Nobody can be you. If you are indeed a small channel or you're not getting the traffic that you want to your channel, don't niche down don't do it because you need to allow yourself grace and give yourself the chance to figure out what your audience is people that are drawn to your channel really don't care as much about the niche as they care about you and your personal interests always remember that no matter where you are in your youtube journey seasons change and your channel should too it should show growth it should show involvement it should change just how everyday life changes and if you don't get the amount of watches or views or traffic that you want to your channel remember what mr beast said he said in your first 10 videos your videos are going to suck all your videos suck you may think that they're the best videos you put out and that's because you haven't had time to grow so all of them suck from videos 1 to 100 people are barely going to see those videos. YouTube's not gonna promote those videos. You will be lucky to get 20 views because the YouTube algorithm doesn't identify you as a creator yet. So they don't push your videos. So don't worry if you're at video number 76 and you have no traffic, no views, no comments, no likes, and it seems like you only got two views on a video that you worked really hard on and nobody's seeing it. It takes time and you have to establish your audience before you get your results. So when you niche people don't even become involved in your niche they become interested in what you're doing and what you have to offer and what qualities you bring forth therefore they become interested in your personality so the niche that you have really doesn't matter as long as you are genuine and you bring forth what people would like to see regardless of what it is then you can have your audience. Your audience will be configured to you. That's why you always see people changing their YouTube channel so frequently or rebranding or re-niching or just going a different direction with their videos. And it's because just as seasons change, trends change, times change, and YouTube, you have when you're a creator, you have to adapt to those changes. So if you ever wonder why your, your favorite YouTubers used to do prank videos and now they're doing cooking videos as a family, maybe times have changed and they've had to adapt to that change. So whatever you have to offer, yeah, it's a thousand people offering the same thing, but the delivery and perspective is different because they are their own person. So really, when you think about it, your niche is you. Everything that you do on your channel 
revolves around you. The big thing that I get from being a small channel is that I can change videos as I want and upload whatever I want because I'm not or I'm not established to the point where people can expect to see a specific type of content from me. So if I want to do cooking, if I want to do makeup, if I want to do any of those things, I'm allowed to do that. Now when you get bigger, do you want to uh, see what people like and expect from you? Yes. And do you want to make more videos on what they like and expect from you? Yes. But until you become that big channel, you get that big bulk of subscribers and you get to know why those subscribers subscribe to your channel, you really don't know. When you niche down too soon, you lose your potential and partially you lose your chance of growth. You lose the chance of your audience knowing what you have to offer to YouTube. When you niche down too soon, your audience doesn't know what other things that you could do better to bring to YouTube. So if you decide to niche solely on beauty, well, let's say maybe you cook better than you do your makeup, right? So your audience will never know that and you will never know that and you will never see the numbers to reflect whether or not your audience likes that style of video better than the next style of video because you never gave yourself the chance to fail. And with that, you have to give yourself grace and yourself the chance to fail because through failure, you learn success. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So plan out your videos, make an outline for your videos, know what you want to cover in your video, what topics you want to address. Um, just as I always keep whatever I want to cover on my phone and I go off of it and it's sitting right here, I periodically glance down to make sure that I stay on topic. But you want to plan out your videos and don't take three months to plan them out. Give yourself grace, I would say. Give yourself about a day to plan and figure out what you want to do. You don't have to fully script a video to plan out your video. Lastly, I want to remind you that this is not something that you're going to get instant gratification from. This is something you have to build and strive for. You have to have a passion for YouTube. Just like I learned when I was becoming a nurse, you have to have a passion for nursing, like they always say. Well, the same thing is for YouTube or whatever you're doing in any aspect of your life. If it doesn't offer instant gratification and you have to work on it and work on it and work for it and work hard for it, then you have to have a passion for it. So if you thought that you were just going to hop on YouTube and end up making tons of money within like the first couple months, then you've tried everything. You have to really have a passion for YouTube and you have to do YouTube as a hobby before you make it a career. I hope that any information that I gave you guys was valuable information to yourself. If you really put in the time, and effort, and dedication to your YouTube channel and your videos, you will begin soaring in no time. But always just remember as another token of give yourself grace, there are tons and tons of these huge established YouTube channels with millions of viewers that took at least four to eight years before they even got where they are today. And maybe even some even took longer than that. When people say that you can reach a thousand subscribers within a year, well, that's not always accurate. Just have fun, be genuine, and you will get your audience and the attention that you want to your channel. You will get everything that you want as long as you work for it and you're honest, you're genuine. You're bringing forward your best efforts to make what you want out of your YouTube channel. Just like life, it's what you make it. So go in, go hard, have fun, and don't worry about the hate comments. You will come across haters the more and more subscribers you get. Just get out there, have fun, upload your videos, don't second guess yourself, and take every view and every subscriber as a win. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below more videos that you'd like to see and what you think from looking at me as a person, my niche or passion would be. I would love to see the guesses that you guys have and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.